Um, but I do want to start basically with how much we are in your actual. It's a, it's a recording studio. You have shows here. You have a beautiful bar that we're behind. You obviously do podcasts now. So tell me about it. How did it start? What was the idea? And what are your goals with it, essentially? That's a lot of questions at once, but <laughs> sure it is. We can knock them out. No yeah, problem. one by one. Go rapid yeah, sure. fire. <laughs> um, so I mean, how much well, started with a friendship with uh, myself and Phil Kegley? Mm -hmm. It was definitely a mutual kind of thing that we, it, an idea, a concept, if you will, that we started. You know, during probably around the pandemic, I would say. Yeah, right yeah, I'd say of like it. May of twenty twenty. Oh, okay, cool. So it's towards the beginning, actually. A lot of great ideas came out of pandemic for sure. And a lot of silly ones too, yeah. but you know, and that's kind of what we love about how much it is. We don't, we try not to take it too seriously, but also we take what we do seriously. That's a know? good way to put it. Yeah, for sure. And so what was the main concept of what you wanted to do? Was it just recording? Was it just shows? Was it this whole vision in general? It was kind of all of it, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I didn't think that we were planning on actually taking how much to the studio space, but we we were planning on having fun with it, and like it, it was like we were into like selling uh, merchandise and stuff. Like we wanted to be a brand. Oh, okay. You know, and like how much was something that Paul and I like you know used to joke around about, just like like hey, let's uh, let's sell some stuff on offer up. It's hard to go to the store these days because it was mid pandemic. Yeah, so, totally. You know, and like Craigslist and stuff, so we'd be selling like. Things that we didn't know, no longer needed that were cool items, you know. And, totally. And we're just like, how much? And the, like, how much us, you know? And stuff. I love that. I was going to ask what the origin of the, yeah. the the title of your studio space was. Yeah. I, and if that that applies to everything, though. Even with our studio rates, we can be like, how much? And you know, like, I don't know. Yeah, you know, we want to make everything kind of approachable for everybody, and it was just one of those things that we kept saying over and over, and it became a a term between sure. us, it just a, like, a, you know, a verb, how much? <laughs> well, well, and there's a little, that goes even deeper. The plot thickens because yeah. at, that, at that time we were also like buying up Dogecoin and Bitcoin and e oh, really? Ethereum and stuff. So like we were, we were like this fake joke, like it was, our <laughs> podcast was like a fake investment <laughs> Oh group. my God. That, that was not financial advice at all, but we were into exercise and like drinking beer. Yeah. You know? you, speaking of which you guys had a, a podcast that you did. Is it still active? Because it's, I saw a clip of it, you doing that. The dream about is still that. alive, but the the, however, the production has uh, <laughs> ceased. After we got this space, it's like we b between time constraints and like you know just having better things to do with ourselves. Sure. You know, not that that wasn't fantastic, but I just think it was a different time where we had time to yeah. commit to like you know uh, writing episodes and like you know improvising and. We had a, a, a setup that was always set up so we could just kind of plug in and it was always live streamed. So, you know, and that time has that. changed too. Yeah. That kind of goes back to also how, how much started. We ended up being roommates and kind of, you know, locked in the same four yeah. walls together. So, you know, these kind of silly ideas created and some of the ideas we had were better than others. And here we are now, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You guys are really picking up steam with people you're booking. Um, obviously hopefully like the doors open for podcasts, but, um, you guys do have like a certain chemistry that I appreciate because I can tell it in like two really good friends <laughs> and to take it that extra mile as far as creativity goes, because creativity is so sacred to people sometimes. So the fact that you two can do it together, I think is really special and that creates a lot of momentum for stuff like this. So I, just kudos to you. I think this is like an amazing thing that you're doing and it's really reaching a lot of people. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. That was really nice to say. Of, Thanks. No, yeah. I'm j I just speak truth, man. Well, and we know that you're <laughs> doing the same thing. I'm trying. I think we're all kind of trying, right? We're yeah. trying to make, make a name uh, for ourselves in the most unique way possible. And I think how much is so unique because the structure of it is not like, you know, I came to play a show, but the vibe was just so different. Like I... I saw the bar, I saw the studio setup, I saw the, the stage and I'm just like, wow, this is a good time. Like, it's not like the pressure of playing like at a bar downtown or something. Yeah. You know? it's, yeah, very, we, it's very approachable. Like you guys said, because yeah. all of our events are private and we basically, when we booked things, we, we were like, we're trying to design, uh, for this intimate space and every mm -hmm. event, we want it to be like a party for that person and oh, to, that. In, to invite their friends and have it be their party for their friends. That's amazing. And Paul and I just want to cater to it. Yeah. That's kind of how this podcast is. I wanted to, you know, just be the conduit for you guys to talk about what you love. So that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Awesome.